Hello, my name is Dr. Rick Putnam. I've been practicing alternative medicine for 40 years this year, and I just love what I'm doing because it, it's very easy to help people with the approach that I use that I've refined over all this time. Even at my present age, in my late 60s, I, I can't begin to think of retiring because I'm having so much enjoyment from working and the gratification from helping people and what makes it so so compelling for me is the equipment that I'm using here. Um, it's based on a development by German medical doctors that uses a, a, a biofeedback system, a third party approach that lets us know what the body is doing internally rather than the patient and I, this is Jan, who's donated her body to the cause today. Um, uh, it's, it doesn't matter what we're thinking consciously. What matters is what the body will tell us is going on within its interior reaches and, and what it needs, what it tells us that it needs to repair itself. Um, the Germans have cracked the code long ago. They've been doing this type of testing for 60 years and with the refinements I've made to it, it's possible to understand the language of the body and, and what it needs in order to repair itself. So what I'm going to do is ask you to bring the camera up close and we can look at the equipment and I can explain it as we go. I'm going to do a, a, a brief demonstration of how this testing equipment works. Um, this unit is called a Vega test and again developed by German medical doctors to, to measure skin resistance in the body and observe the, the changes in the level of skin resistance like a lie detector will uh, when the body's simply exposed to externally to samples of all the organs and tissues in the body that it's having trouble with internally. It will give a drop in the um, in the conduction when when it's sensing a sample. Now here's a neural measurement. We're going to um, contact Jan. She has a knee problem so I'm going to contact Jan with a sample of the knee joint. These are beef and pork samples. That may seem silly to the viewers but all it requires is we have same mammalian tissues. We could use whale if we want because it's an air breathing mammal. We could use whale tissue samples. And we're on the knee and there's a problem with her knee. The needle won't go up. We come off the knee sample, recheck, it goes up. It doesn't look like much, but there is a difference. Go back to the knee and it's slow and it won't go up the whole way. Now, by comparison, try a sample of the hip joint. It doesn't drop. She doesn't have a hip joint problem, but she has a knee problem. And the way this equipment works is um, it runs off a transistor radio battery inside this little door on the back. It's a little transistor battery. You can pull it out with my pen. Just one of these batteries with the two terminals on it. And it's a rechargeable, so that it can be charged from the wall circuit. And we'll put it back in. We'll forget the door for the moment. And we, no wait, we're still on, well we're on the hip joint, that doesn't react. But that's the on and off button. That's putting the battery current through the two wires that are basically coming off of each of the two terminals of that battery. And then Jan is holding the ground bar and then I'm contacting with the, the finger probe and then we're running 
Yeah, I, I touched me and her at the same time. Let me get away from the probe tip. And we're running the current of the battery across the top of the body and down to the other probe. And again, up. And if we contact her sinuses that she's having trouble with, it goes down. It's real simple. So all these trays are samples, again, beef and pork samples of all the different parts of the mammalian body. Um, these, this tray is a series of medicines. This tray uh, holds samples of the immune system and all the different parts of the brain. Now, when the teeth are, are bothered, as in Jan's case, sometimes parts of the brain will show up um, uh, if there's headache, um, I'm not going to delve into that right now. Um, but th this is basically how the machine works. And to keep us into the circuit, these trays are plugged into the side of the machine, and then these probe wires come off and contact the different organs. And then when we're down on an organ, we contact a sample of a medicine, all the samples being on the, the ro rotary tray, and the needle flips up, indicating that the body wants that particular medicine in order to repair that particular organ, be it a liver, or a knee, or a sinus, or a kidney, or whatever. So that's how the equipment works. There are many other uh, German electronic companies that put these machines together, but none of them work as well as the Vega unit.